Okay, this last one a lot of people have commented on in the past, um, and this is separate pattern region by kit piece. So if you're using Drum Machine Designer and you're using this with the step sequencer, sometimes it can be a little troublesome uh, to work in the step sequencer with the full kit in there. And also, as you may or may not be aware of, each kit piece in Drum Machine Designer has a separate aux track. And that auxiliary track inside of the DMD uh, track stack. But in some cases, you're not using all of these. So if you want to kind of take your entire pattern and break it down to its individual components, its individual kit pieces, sometimes that can make arrangement um, a, a bit easier, you know. So once you start, you know, you get your beat kind of build out in the uh, in the step sequencer, um, you can right click, you can go down to convert, and then you can select separate pattern region by kit piece. If this is something you're going to do a lot, let's make a key command out of it. And I'll just do separate. There we go. And then we can do separate pattern uh, region by kit piece. Learn uh, key position. And I'm going to use option shift command P. And there it is. So now if I click on that and hit option shift command P, it takes each kit piece in that pattern and separates it down to a separate track and it puts it on its own aux track. And so what you can do is you can go through here and you can see the ones that are not used and you can delete them. And this may not be something you do right up front as you're, you know, you start working on a beat, but it may be something you do later on once you've settled on the kit pieces you're using for your beat, because in a lot of cases, you're not using every single kit piece, right? But what this does is it gives you the ability to very easily, uh, by the way, command R will repeat, to come in here and say, okay, let's start off with just hi-hat and the kick, um, and then let's bring in, you know, the hi-hat and, uh, you know, one of these snares, and then we want to, you know, maybe go back to just the hi-hat. And so this can make arranging your percussion uh, a little bit easier because you can kind of move things around by their kit piece rather than having to deal with the entire, you know, drum pattern up here at the top. You know, maybe this is like an intro. This is like a secondary intro. And then the, maybe the main beat comes in. It can make the arrangement process a lot easier because you can think about, you know, just what like what is just the kick drum doing? What is just the snare drum doing? 